airport in Essex and many people have seen our military and private planes coming and going there for decades. But many of us don't know the historical significance of the property. Those at the Aviation Museum at the airport are keenly aware and they have the artifacts to prove it. WMER 2 News' Don Harrison tells us about one of Maryland's hidden gems. Inside this modest entrance to one of the hangars at Martin State Airport is a museum. Many aviation fans read about planes, but at Glen L. Martin Aviation Museum, you can see aviation history up close and personal. So if there's, there's historical context to their knowledge base. Stan Pyatt is the archive director and historian for the museum. More than 5,000 B-26 bombers were built here and pilots flew them around the world. So this is the uh, personal collection of uh, Franklin Allen. Allen took an entire squadron across the Pacific to Australia to fight the Japanese in World War II. He flew 64 missions and his survival pack is on display here. It's got various types of uh, anti-malarials in it that's got uh, atrovine for just in case you get bit by a snake or something like that. So this was actually something that was a backpack that would sit behind the pilot in his pilot seat. Many of the visitors here at the museums are part of the thousands of families who lived and worked here at the Martin Company and also aviation enthusiasts from around the world. It's my blood. I've been in aviation my whole life. Bob Colvin is a pilot. Aviation is a big part of his family's history. I've been in aviation or three generations now, so it's, it's kind of important for me to pass this on to my uh, grandchildren. Many of us know about the airport here, but leading up to and after World War II, the Martin Company was a significant player in aviation manufacturing in the U.S. So you had four production aircraft that come out at the same time, and there were up to 53, 54,000 people working here, three shifts. If you are one of the lucky ones who have been here before, they have new artifacts for you to see. And some people come back because we change the displays around periodically and, uh, you know, try to make it interesting for people that have been here before. Plenty of interesting material for the first time visitor or if you are a lifetime aviation fan. At the Glen L. Martin Aviation Museum, Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.